was in the middle of shooting a video and uh, the camera died mid ha. So uh, we're just gonna move on. Entitled parents, you're my kid, you're my slave. Slave kids, kids slaves. I don't know how else to say it from r slash. Some r slash entitled parents. Play. R slash entitled parents. What's up, Where slash? a mommy and her precious son point a gun at OP. Our next post is from Spartan with a gun. This happened last week, so I'm trying to wrap my head around it still. Firstly, I love guns, nearly everything about them. The sound, the recoil, the fireball. What I don't like is when an idiot is given one. Okay. When idiots have guns, people get killed. So when I see an entitled parent and her nine-year-old son at a gun range, I was initially happy that this kid was being taught at a young age. I go to my bay, right next to the entitled parent and son, who was actually quite this nice. Is, this is building up already so poorly. When I see entitled parents' handgun pointed at me. Oh shit! So I jump out of the way of the barrel and tell her to keep it downrange. She scoffs at me, pulls the not loaded BS, to which I reply that I don't care. Right. Always treat it like it's For loaded. For real. I had two guns with me, my Springfield XD40 subcompact handgun and my AR-15. Now continuing the story. The kid goes up to shoot, he starts firing, and when he's done, he sets the gun down so that it's pointing what at me. What the fuck? Being a kid, and probably new, I tell him to always keep it down range for safety. He acknowledges this and points the gun back when I feel a firm smack to the back of my head. Don't talk to my son like that! I'm trying to teach him gun safety. If what? anybody gets shot at one of these ranges, this place can get shut down. Don't talk back to me. Bitch! She moves to hit me again, to which I hover my hand over my XD40, which was resting on the table. That sends her enough signal to back off. When she goes up to shoot, she pulls the trigger, to which nothing happens. Please don't do she what I think. The gun at I was me. about to say, please do not do this. Me again, to which this time I yell at her to keep it down range. She decides to ignore me. Ma'am, if the gun misfires, keep it down range because it may have had a delayed firing. Shut up, butthole. I go Bitch. back to shooting my handgun, to which I see once again that the gun is pointed at me. The worst part? She was fiddling with the freaking trigger. To those who don't know, the rule is that you can point your gun at somebody if you feel they genuinely jeopardize right. your life. I wasn't quite there yet, so I called over range safety. Range safety told her off, and she listened, until she did the same oh thing God. again. Now I point my gun at her. Right. What the F are you I'm doing? A, I'm finna shoot you. That's what I'm gonna, you're, stop pointing a gun at me, lady. Keep your gun down range. Range safety comes over to calm me down, and he takes the gun from the entire <laughs> parent. Then, Entitled Parent tries to throttle range safety. So, I take the gun from him and field strip it. This is simply in case of emergency. I noticed the safety was on, but the gun was fully Holy loaded. Holy God. So, I point my gun at Entitled Parent and tell her to get on her knees with her hands behind her what head. What the fuck? I'll sue you for this BS. What the fuck? I say to the little kid, never say anything you've heard today until you're older. Then, back to Entitled Parent, go ahead, I'll just show the camera footage. Range safety calls the cops, and when they arrive, I field strip both my guns. I get cuffed, asked a few questions, and then released to put my guns in their cases. Get released! Entitled parent is screaming bloody murder as she's taking away, and the she kid is arrested. just crying. So then I go to the kid and try to calm him down. Entitled parent then screams that I'm trying to kidnap her son. Right. I just back away, and the kid has calmed down, and just put my hands up. Cops close the car door, and then they get contacts for the kid's dad. Jesus Lord. Still waiting for a court date. I will update you Please when I do get one. Do. Nothing Please do. Nothing screams entitled parent quite like, How dare you not let my precious baby almost murder you? Dude, that shit like that is stuff that you, you read. And I'm just like, I, I think I told my story where the guy pulled a gun on me when he was, um, he was surveying the area to sell homes. Ah, oh, that's right. Man, that... I was on the phone for like a really long time. Uh, so basically I asked the dude to not take photos of my sister's car. I said, she's, you know, she's parked on the corner. 
uh, I don't want pictures of her um, license plate and your company doesn't blur photos started yelling at me after I said that so then I walked back to my house in front of my house and started talking to him about taking the photos and he got extremely aggressive and he pulled a gun and pointed it at me in my front yard and uh, so I went and I called 911 uh, while he was standing there I'm standing in my front yard and then I went inside my dad was all hyped up and everything and the cops came and the, my favorite thing the cops worked there extremely quick and they handled the situation and they chewed this guy out you can't just pull guns on people for telling you not to take pictures in front of their house but yeah crazy situation anywho let's continue our next post is from Acker one my aunt was always playing the big shot of solving people's problems, but using my cousin as the actual person to take on the problem. Always for free. If someone insisted on paying, entitled aunt kept the money. Oh. Need a babysitter, a ride, house cleaned, yard mowed, errands run. Oh. oh, my daughter can do it. As far as my aunt was concerned, the only reason Emily existed was to cater to her. Yeah, there's a lot of people who have family situations like that. My, uh, one of my best friends, um, rest in peace, his grandmother, um, but uh, her daughters were like that. If you went to go stay at their house or anything, that's what they would do. They'd just take all the money for the house. Emily was her ultimate trophy. Entitled Aunt was entitled long before it became a huge thing. Man. My aunt has always been entitled. It's her personality type. My mother couldn't stand <laughs> her little sister, so we tried to avoid her while maintaining contact with her husband and child. My uncle, I'm their brother, uncle, huh? lived further south in the state, so we always tried to avoid Entitled Aunt knowing when we were visiting. On this trip, I was staying with my cousin for a couple of weeks in the summer, and we were going to do tourist things. Entitled Aunt thought that the university not being in session meant that cousin was slave labor. <laughs> One day, Emily no. decided that enough was enough. She was supposed to run errands for a friend of Entitled Aunt and had told her mother she had plans. Her mother, as usual, acted yeah. as though Emily had agreed oh, and expected God. her to comply. Emily just didn't run the errand for the friend as demanded. It was that simple. My mother and I had arrived about 10 minutes before the phone rang. Entitled Aunt called, and though this was back during landlines, she was screaming so loudly that both my mother and I could hear both sides God. clearly. How dare you embarrass me with my friends? Oh, I've heard that so many times. You call Ms. No Name Not for and my I family, but for apologize my immediately. You are grounded for a month and you may not drive the car at all. They be going all. crazy. Now you make that call and go run those errands now. If anyone can explain how she was supposed to do this without using the car. It I don't even matter. Emily said, mom, I'm 22. 22. I do not live in your house. You do not pay my bills and you do not own my car. What? Run the errands yourself. I have plans. My mom was a little nervous leaving us at that point. 22? Yo, the whole thing is supposed to be my house, my rules. If it's not your house, then whomst rules is it then? The fuck? It's a mom thing and a she has met her sister thing. Even though Jesus. we were both fine. She left just after meeting Emily's boyfriend. We left and went to a water park and a few other things. We got back to the house and were talking about where to have dinner. Mom insisted on paying for us to go someplace really nice for dinner that night. We get back and Emily's car is gone. Oh, she no. called and asked where it was. Oh, no. Mom, do you have my Why car? does your mom have your car keys? Why? Why did she have your car yes, keys? Yes, I do. Your father brought me over so I could check and see if you had obeyed me. Bitch. I told you that you were grounded and you were not there when I arrived. I'm keeping the car for a month, but I'm going to let Mrs. No Name borrow it because you have been so horrible to her. Mrs. No Name, Mom, I love it. that's stealing. It is. I want my car back now or I'm going to report it stolen. No, Mrs. No Name can't drive my car. I'm your mother. Oh my God. When I say it go, does not. Missy, you need to learn no. some respect and to get it through your head that I'm in charge and you are a child. You don't own anything. <laughs> it's mine because I am your mother. Lady, that lady. The police will likely arrest you for wasting their oh, time. Oh, that's, that's rich. Emily hangs up and looks at me. <laughs> she is so angry. She is crying yeah. in rage. 
OP, if I call the police, she's going to know you are here. Mm -hmm. I can live with that. That fallout is a whole other story. She picks up the phone and calls the police, tells them the car has been uh. taken without her permission and where it is. Mike, Emily's boyfriend, drives us over there. We do <laughs> we not want to miss the show. We don't want to miss the show. The police officers knock on the door and entitled aunt answers. Hello, officers. Do you oh, need just something? Oh, the smuggest of Ma smug. the vehicle in the driveway matches the description and location of a vehicle reported stolen. It's my car. I took it from my daughter because she is grounded from using it for being disobedient and disrespectful. I see. May we have a word with her, please? The entitled aunt looking very smug. <laughs> she doesn't live here. The police officer noticed us across the street. You three, come over here, please. Did one of you call us? Emily said, I did. It's my it's car. My car officer. My mother seems <laughs> to think she has control over it and you know, But you know what? The police in Vegas are really cool about family disputes like this, and they try really hard to fix this kind of stuff without getting people arrested. It's my car. I'm your mother, and you have to obey me. It's the law. Tell her, Tell officers. Her. Tell her. Actually, ma'am, there is no such law. Your daughter is an adult. And she owns the vehicle. There most certainly is a well, law. What is it? I'm going to report you to your chief for not knowing. And we've seen these compilations. People think this shit. I may even sue. May I see the car registration and your license, please? Emily hands them to him. Ma'am, this car is registered in the name of your daughter and only your daughter. <laughs> it's her car and you have no right to drive it. Entitled Aunt looks at the registration the officer is showing her and then snatches Ooh. Emily license from him and slams the door. Oh. The police officers look at each other for a moment and then shrug and ring the bell again. Entitled Aunt answers it, looking very smug. Ma'am, I'm going to need you to return the license now. If you can't see it, it doesn't exist. Uh, that evidence you have, I have it now. And now what are you going to do about it? Entitled Aunt hands him the license <laughs> that she has cut into several Lady. pieces. Now she can't drive because she doesn't have a license. <laughs> she looks at Emily as better. though she just scored some odd victory. Then she finally notices uh, me. Hacker, what are you doing here? Just trying to have a nice visit with my cousin. She has hated me for years. You need to leave. I didn't give you permission to visit. Oh Where is my your God. mother? I don't need your permission. My mother is not here. I can travel without no, her. You gotta, you Ma'am, gotta... you are under arrest for destruction of government property. Apparently, cutting up a valid license is a felony in some places. Huh. Who knew? Huh. And grant theft of this car. You can't arrest me. I'm her mother. I have you rights. You get arrested. Yes, you do. He then reads them. Oh, to that's her. a good. That's the a officer fucking good explains one. to us that until she destroyed the license, he had been willing to issue an appearance ticket. Then, instead of being arrested, she would just have had to appear in front of the judge and get a and fine. And they would probably waive the fine, to be completely honest. In family disputes and stuff like that, if you handle it, normally it's just like all okay. This was a much bigger deal. Emily ran into the house to tell her father what had happened. We all chatted for a little bit until the phone rang. It was entitled on telling him to call their attorney. We left. I drove the car back to Emily's and took her to get her license replaced the next morning. The attorney called by my uncle apparently didn't know my aunt and he showed up at the first hearing a week later to try and get it dismissed. <laughs> it looked to be going her way at first. Her attorney said, your honor, this is a family matter. It's simply a case of a mother disciplining her child and the child calling the police because her mother grounded her from using the car. Oh, that's not a good. The judge said, so she got mad and called the police and she, not knowing that it was a crime to destroy the license, did so. Yes, your honor, that's pretty much okay. it. Okay. Prosecutor, do you have nothing better to do today? The prosecutor said, no, your honor, I don't. I consider it rather important. Oh, no. When a 22-year-old woman has her car stolen, it doesn't matter who stole it. She has just as much of a right to justice as someone who has their car stolen by a stranger. 22? The victim is 22? No, oh, no. Why did you keep asking questions? It's going bad now. Yes, your honor. The victim is a 22-year-old woman who is the sole owner oh, of the vehicle God. in question. 
The mother became enraged at her daughter. She then went to her daughter's home, stole her car, and later destroyed her license. Dude, these proceedings are rarely this formal too with these these kinds of cases, unless they're taking it like really serious. Like normally in these court cases, it's not even like a really big courtroom, but they must really actually be pursuing charges against her mom if this is like really, really court, which is unfortunate. That is unfortunate. Your Honor, I was not aware of the age or living situation of the victim. I was under the impression that the child was a minor who resides with Wait, the Wait, he's quitting? Entitled Aunt was sitting there still looking smug. Her attorney was sweating yeah. bullets. Entitled Aunt, do you realize that these are very serious charges? Yeah. And if convicted, you face up to eight years in Don't prison. Don't say anything down. For what? I have the right to discipline my child as I see fit. She disobeyed me. She will think twice before doing it again. Man, you should have prepped her better. No, you don't. You have the right to discipline your child within the confines of the law. You have stepped outside of that parameter. You stole your daughter's car. I'm her mother. <laughs> it's my right. It isn't really theft because she is my child and her property belongs to Fam. me by law. Fam. Where did you get your law degree? I don't have one. Then let me be the first to explain to you that your child is a legal adult. Pert. Period. Pert. You have no right of anything of hers without her express consent. Pert. Period. <laughs> you may not take her car without her permission. Period. You may not enter her home without her permission. Period. Do you understand that? It's like it's like it's almost if you just say you understand it, you won't go to jail. Can you do that? Can you say you get it so you don't go to jail? For us? For me? You don't know what you are talking about. I'm her mother. That gives me the right. I'm in charge. You had one chance. You had one chance and now you fucked it up. Do you get another? Probably not. Probably not. No, ma'am. I'm in charge. This case will be held over for two Ah, uh, it sucks. I went home a week later. Entitled Aunt eventually took a plea deal where she had two years probation and had to take parenting classes. Jesus. The parenting classes were Mike's idea and the prosecutor thought it was great. We laughed hysterically over that because my cousin is an only child. <laughs> Lol. Emily and Mike married a year later and moved the heck away from there. Dang, this sucks. took place about 30 years ago. Oh, wow. Entitled Aunt maintained for the rest of her life that the judges, there were five for different status hearings, didn't know what the heck they were doing and she was right. Most At least she's consistent. And with that, I will leave you. No issue we've had has had to have the cops called and for them to stay. Um, normally, when you call the police, even entitled parents know when to get the hell out of Dodge, okay? You can call the cops on your parents when you're not an adult, right? There, you do have a reason, to, uh, a right to do that. But, you know, in a lot of situations, you really have to be thinking if it's really that bad, if it really needs to happen. But in some cases of parents stealing your money and things like that, you have you do have rights to your own funds and things like that. But because they provide for you and all those kind of things, unless you're making enough money to cover bills that you make, right? If they take like five or six dollars from you at a time, there's not really a whole lot the law can do about that in some cases. So you gotta be really careful about, you know, if the parents just going like, I'm spending that money on groceries, right? You know, that's kind of, that's kind of a tough one. So, and if you never had the money to begin with, because a lot of people think of stealing, like, oh, they went in my room, went through my drawer and took it. But a lot of times parents take the money off the top is what I'm talking about. Like, you know, your allowance money, or like if you go and do a side job, right? They just take $20 off the top and give you the rest is what I'm saying. That's stealing. Um, but anywho, then let me know what you guys think of that. That was pretty fucking triggering. And uh, I, I love y'all, I'll see you later. Crocs, Crocs, Crocs. Crocs, 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 Crocs. I'm rocking Crocs. I'm rocking Crocs. I'm rocking Crocs. Wearing Crocs, boy. I'm rocking Crocs. I'm rocking Crocs. I'm rocking Crocs. Wearing Crocs, boy. My Crocs are gold. My pops is old, my cross got soul, my
My Crocs are bold. I go to church wearing Crocs. I'm always turned wearing Crocs. My Crocs are great. Your Crocs are lame. With my Crocs, I can cross a lake. Crocs, 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 Crocs.